Hey traders, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to use um, Bookmap inside Thinkorswim. It's actually pretty cool. Um, as you guys know, I do use the Bookmap. I have it as its own separate. Um, app and there are some advantages and disadvantages um, with both of them. I'm going to kind of go over them. Also, how to set the, the set it up, how it works, and things like that. So, but first, make sure you check this out. Make sure you check out my website, daytrainfearless.com, to sign up for the $99 lifetime subscription special for the weekly SP e mini trade zones. These are zones where I give you resistance, support, open gaps, and open VPOX for the following week uh, trading. You also, in the member section, will receive a two-hour trade zone training video course uh, where I teach you everything about the trade zones, how to draw them uh, so you could trade any stock, future, or cryptocurrency. And you also get the member section with all the resistance support levels and things like that to draw in any chart. So make sure you check it out. Links down below, but right back to the video. Okay, with that being said, let's go over how do you find Bookmap, right, on your trading platform in Thinkorswim. Well, the first thing you need to do is call Thinkorswim um, and ask them to turn on the Bookmap feature. Once you've done that, you can come over here, right, um, just click on Charts, and then you'll see a Bookmap icon. Okay, it's the same place where your flex grid is. Um, and once they turn it on, you'll need to restart your platform, turn it back on, it'll be there. Um, there are three free ones that you get. You get, um, let's see, uh, I just want to see something. Okay, here you go. This is the uh, screen I want, right? So when you first click on it, these are the three free ones you get there's no expiration even though they say try it for free just every day when you log on you'll have to click on try for free but you get apple microsoft and then the s p email futures now if you want all the stocks then you'll need to subscribe to all of them um, i believe that price is 39 dollars or something like that um, as of a recording but as you guys know me, I'm an S&P EMA futures guy, right? So I'll click that. And again, if you want to pay for it, you could do subscribe. Now, one bad, th bad thing with this one is you don't get like all the uh, cryptocurrencies, the Forex, things like that, um, as you do with a uh, book map. Also, if you use outside brokerage firms, uh, we'll say like Stage 5 or... Um, uh, trade of eight, uh, any of those companies, then what happens is you can't use this. And also, if you pay for the subscription on the standalone book map, you cannot carry that over to this one. Just a FYI, right? Uh, so if you kind of use this and you want to use Thinkorswim and use it in, you're going to have to pay a whole separate fee. But if you use outside brokerage firms um, for futures and Bitcoin and all that, then I would definitely recommend the other one. But if you do use Thinkorswim and you're active in the day trading side of like a Apple um, Microsoft, and any stock, right? You could subscribe to a Tesla, all that, uh, then it may be worth it, um, especially S&P e futures. So with that being said, let's kind of go over what the futures are, uh, what you could do, kind of ways you could customize it. A lot of it is pretty much the same as what you do pay for. You have the big dots, right? Uh, you have the different color schemes here that you could do. Um, and you could kind of say, hey, look, bigger um bigger picture okay there were buyers down here you could see over on these columns um cob right this is essentially your bid ask and your uh what you call it um liquidity of 
your future contracts, right? So you could see these numbers always changing, right? So as price starts to come down, you know there's a big order of 173 here, right? Um, up here, there's 147, things like that. But the last time we were down here, there was 230, and that's what that shows. Um, on this one, what I like to do is if you right-click, you could go and config configure column right and you can actually change what you want so if you click on here you could say hey i want to see uh volume right and so it gives you cvp okay chart range of volume profile right it tells you show bid ask um what i like to do is kind of make it look over here so this is essentially and kind of show the vwap line and bars and numbers right this is a way i like mine because here's where the vwap line would be right um this is also showing you a market profile of what's on the uh, chart right so you could see a bigger cleaner picture with all of that um so <clears throat> with other things going on over here if you come up here to the upper uh, left we'll just go through each one real quick uh this is kind of if you want to move this to the left or right something like that that's what that's for this is more of just a data tool tip right if you hover it'll show it um right here is your study configuration we'll come back to that okay that's really important uh scrolls right so if you want to make it darker lighter or contrast the bubbles bigger smaller uh and the bubbles are the volume bubbles uh drawing if you want kind of be able to draw on the chart you could do things like that click here clear drawings clear and it'll disappear uh next uh shape data tool tip oh so and i'm sorry this uh, this is the data tool tip this is the zoom to drag right go like this you could just say hey i want to only see from here to here right and then it'll zoom in directly for you which is kind of cool sorry about that one um crosshairs if you want crosshairs on here uh time slices and then um this is kind of a quick hey only sh uh, i don't want to see the heat map right only price or i do i want to see the vwap right these are just kind of quick little um studies we'll put uh to show really quick so um and then you could change your uh, colors here like this now let's go into here uh candlesticks if you want to add candlesticks you could do that right you'll see the candlesticks here you could see them if i take them away they'll disappear um cumulative volume delta if you want to watch all that right kind of look for divergence in volume delta you could do that customize it all in there uncheck that come right here it'll go right back down your heat map um so essentially you could change it you can actually add um kind of the contrast uh, change it's very customizable you could change all this stuff around however you'd like um lower cutoffs upper cutoffs things like that right so um if you kind of want to clean up the chart and say hey i only want to see more of the bigger volumes i don't care about all the other stuff uh things like that a large lot tracker when there's a huge lot you can add that order book imbalance you see this up here if i take this away it'll get rid of it same with the volume uh imbalance right uh, your VWAP, if you want to show the VWAP, VWAP if you want to change colors, uh, you could do it directly from here, right? Um, now, remember, this is a VWAP for the market profile. This is a VWAP for the current chart. Uh, volume bars, okay, if you want to make them solid or um, 3D, if you want to change them. Sorry, uh, and these are down here, right? You could see how... It, if you do solid it gives it the green and the red um, so different ways to do it if you want them thinner thicker like that you could go through there um, and then 
volume dots, um, you could change the sizes of them to be really big, really small. I personally don't like the volume dots, right? Too much noise on the uh, charts, but that is me personally. I'd rather see the volume bars down there. So that's pretty much a quick run through of the ways to do it. You can also right click okay on here and if you right click you could kind of trade if you do trade the future stocks directly from the chart you could do it all right here but then you can also come down here um, and then go to configuration or configure with a component but if you click here there's all these different things for the trades show working orders cancel orders things like that. So uh, that's it for this video. I just kind of want to give a quick rundown of how uh, what's available with it. Um, I'm going to do another video that should probably come out in the next uh, couple of days from when you're watching this one, and that will be how to set up a good looking book map and go from there. So um, as always, uh, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, um, and then if you guys want the other book Book map version there's a affiliate link down below in the description where you could sign up for a free trial um, and that gives you more if you're using other brokers if you're using this you can only use it with thinkorswim so no, nothing wrong with that if you only use thinkorswim and you kind of only trade apple or microsoft or the es's then here you go and it's all for free if you subscribe you'll get more in the future or uh, you could get all the stocks uh, and futures I believe uh, that's what you're subscribing for but I would double check by calling thinkorswim and asking them for more information on this but um, as always um, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon